Hi, if you are at all familiar with Ethereum, you likely already heard that it has a scalability issue just like many other blockchains. However, with Ethereum, there are many layer two solutions, namely rollups, that help to solve the issue of scalability by increasing the efficiency, and they all use different techniques. The most popular ones are optimistic rollups and zero knowledge rollups. In this video in particular, we are talking about Scroll, the ZK EVM, that is a zero knowledge based rollup for Ethereum. So, at a high level, how does Scroll work? Scroll uses ZK Snarks, that is a short for zero knowledge, succinct, non non interactive argument of knowledge, if I remember correctly. Basically, it uses zero knowledge to make to generate proofs that a bunch of transactions are valid. So Ethereum then validates those proofs only instead of validating every transaction separately. So because Ethereum has to validate much smaller amount of data, it becomes much more efficient with these transactions if you use a VK EVM on top. And what are the use cases of high transaction throughput? Um, let's say high frequency trading on decentralized exchanges, and also very important for games, because as the number of users increases, let's say there can be millions of users in the game, and there are transactions with NFTs, they are going just like that. Of course, such large improvements in efficiency come with their own trade-offs, and many people consider layer 2 solutions a bit less decentralized than if it was just layer 1. Scroll aims to solve the issue by, being a, by developing a type 1 rollup. So type 1 rollups are the most architecturally close to Ethereum by themselves. So they kind of preserve um, the most structure of Ethereum when generating the proofs in comparison with other types of rollups. Type 1s are also called EVM equivalent uh, rollups because they are the most compatible with Ethereum applications. So it is a very good point for developers because if you are developing some contract for Ethereum, you can easily deploy it on um, the type 1 rollup, but not necessarily on other types of rollups. Because the other rollups, yes, I said rollups a lot of times, but uh, bear with me. Other types of rollups, they are often built specifically for certain applications to increase the efficiency of Ethereum based on purely that application. However, that kind of loses the point of uh, having Ethereum so compatible with everything. So, in a way, Type 1 rollups are the best Tier 1 solution in terms of compatibility and usability. However, the main drawback for that is that, in this case, it's zero-knowledge rollup, right? And Ethereum is not very, very, like, friendly-based, uh, friendly architecture towards zero-knowledge solutions. And uh, therefore, the transaction costs for generating and computational costs for generating zero knowledge proofs based on Ethereum transactions are quite heavy in comparison with other blockchains that would be more optimized for zero knowledge. This also manifests in the time it takes to generate proofs. Another critique of rollups mostly concerns that they are off-chain solutions and that basically means that you are relying solely on the operator of the rollup to process transactions accurately and be always online. So if they act maliciously or they go offline for some reason, and I don't know what happens because something really big is supposed to happen. However, I am not familiar with any like cloud cases where this problem was the case. And if you know any, uh, I would be glad to read them in the comments. As for the publicity side of Scroll, Vitalik himself tweeted on uh, December the 6th about it, among other ZK EVM solutions and that was among Starkware and Polygon and Matterlabs. Uh, as far as I know, Matterlabs is also a Type 1 ZK EVM, however, Starkware and its solutions are not Type 1. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The scroll Twitter is also very popular, I would say, and it has a Twitter Guru score of uh, 177. Now let's get to the testnet. At the very moment, pre-alpha testnet is running, and it will be until January the 9th that you can just log in and try many functions already, that is including bridging their NFTs and also developing smart contracts. We start by adding the testnet networks from the pre-alpha testnet to our MetaMask. We add all the testnets and also all the tokens to our wallet. There is no token to add for the wrapped ETH. However, there is an ability to use it and swap with it. Our next step is to get tokens from the faucet you just go through the link and sign in with Twitter to request. Then um, you authorize the app, 
with your Twitter, there's not much that it is asking for, then nothing will change on the website itself. However, you will have a token appear in your MetaMask. So I'm right now in scroll L1 testnet and I have one TS ETH. Then with this TS ETH, we can go to the bridge link and uh, swap. And as you can see here, the networks, the places of them swap automatically. So as my wallet was uh, in the scroll L2 testnet, it was uh, allowing me to swap from scroll L2 testnet to scroll L1 testnet. And if I change the networks, they change automatically, which is a cool feature to have. I haven't seen it in many other bridges. Let's say I would like to bridge 0.2 TS ETH between the testnets of L1 and L2. So just click on it, then the confirmation and wait a little bit. It will appear after some time. You can check in the block explorer how your transactions are happening. So the balance just changed as you can see. And I will just go to the block explorer to show you how it looks like. I often do the search by my wallet address to see all the transactions that I made. So here is the faucet transaction, the one I did right before. And the last one is the one I did just now. And as you can see, it is successful. However, it is not yet appearing in my wallet. It will in a couple of minutes as I did my transaction before as well. And now let's bridge some TSE from L2 to L1. The process is exactly the same. You just click confirm and wait a little bit and the balance will change in a couple of minutes. Then we can go to the swapping page. It is also quite self-explanatory. There are three currencies available to swap between. So TSE, TSUDC and wrapped ETH. I already connected my wallet and I am on scroll L2 network. Let's now swap some TFETH to TSUSDC. The transaction was successful and it was very fast and it is already appearing in my wallet. Now let's swap some TSUSDC to wrapped ETH. It will take a bit longer for the approvement of transaction. Then you click on the swap button and it is also processed very fast. And that's it, you can wrap and wrap your ETH and you can see your balances of coins here as well. If you would like to develop a smart contract on Scroll, it is already available as a feature in this pre-alpha testnet. However, you will have to fill out a short survey to be able to deploy it. They will roll out the feature for everybody without the survey. However, as resources are limited now because it is a testnet, the places are limited. They also have a guide in the docs how to deploy them using Foundry and Hardhat. I will leave the link to that in the description. On January the 9th, there is going to be a reset. So they are going to wipe this out, add new functions, and you will have to reset your networks in your wallets as well. And then you will be able to continue running the testnet and doing activities there. As for the investments into Scroll, it had one Series A funding round in April of 2022, where they collected $30 million and Polychain Capital was in the lead. And among others, I have um, here, the list here. Among others, there was uh, Bain Capital Crypto, Robot Ventures, Geometry DAO, and others participating. And there were also participants from the Ethereum Foundation. So those would be the individual investors. That's all I have for you about Scroll for this video. And thank you very much for watching until the end. All the links are going to be in the description, including testnet-related links. And uh, see you in the next one.